Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2, the campaigns of Mithridates. This is uh, the fuzz, and we're trying again. Um, when we last left off, let me raise that brightness a little bit. Uh, when we last left off, I had actually lost a campaign, and that was a big pain in the butt. So, um, since that time, I've played quite a bit, and I'm feeling more confident in my abilities, but I haven't actually played this level yet. I, um, uh, this battle again, I just focused on some other things, such as, um, the new Immortal, Immortal Fire DLC, which has been pretty fantastic to play, and I've been enjoying it immensely, but it also means that, um, I am a little rusty on these type of tactics, just because, um, previously, uh, you know, in, in Immortal Fire, it's more of a uh, an earlier timeline, and so the uh, army makeups are a lot different, um, mostly hoplite rather than uh, these imitation legionnaires and so on and so forth. So I kind of want to think about how I played last time and use what I can at least um, to kind of use use those lessons to do a better job this time. So I see some hills. There's some irregular forest here. Um, so I know their troops, this is rough. So if I can kind of pin them here, that'd be good. It's top of a hill. Got a slight hill here. Hmm. Well, so I do have a lot of it, irregular foot, which I'm not entirely sold on. I feel like if I can get rid of one of those guys, I'd much rather put in something better like a Thracian, or actually even better, let's put in one of those guys. Um, I'd rather have Thurio Foroi, and again, apologize about that pronunciation. Um, so that's good. I think, okay, I can add two generals. Oh yeah, so there's been a new update, so you can have a little more freedom in terms of adding your generals. So one thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to move Mithridates into the back here. Um, or not the back, per se, but just a different line. Um, I'm also going to add a general to the um, flanks here. I kind of want imitation legionnaires to have a, a general, just because I know they're going to pin a lot on that flank. Um, based on experience, and so I want to be able to do something about that. Okay. And then finally, let's move some troops around. A regular foot is here, so I'm not going to rely on them super much, which is not a word, but that's fine. And then let's uh, bump some cavalry up here. Finally, let's bump these guys up there. I feel pretty good about this makeup. All right, let's go. So... The Romans are a tough nut to crack, but they are attacking me based on the fact they're moving their entire army up. See, it's been so long, I don't even remember if I'm defending or uh, attacking on this one, but it looks like I am attacking. So, Javelin Horse. I'm going to move forward a little bit, but not go crazy. But these horsemen, likewise. gonna go a little bit. I want to be able to wipe the slingers out. And then let's run these guys all the way up. Alright, so let's take a look at the enemy. Some good legionnaires. Okay, got a subgeneral here. Veterans. Veterans. Lots of Thracians. Some raw legionnaires. A regular foot. Okay, so they only have one veteran as far as I can tell. Uh, two veterans. So the veterans have the generals, and this side has some slack Roman legionnaires, plus some Thracian Sutari. Okay. I'm assuming there's a couple more units here that I can't see because of the hill. Um, I think there's, yeah. So you can, I push two, and I'm pretty sure that this is an indication of what is visible from the battlefield. So let's see, like, these units are selected, so this is what they can see. Um, you know, so let's look if, um, 
I actually can't zoom down at a more ground level. I would love to have that camera change. But basically, it's saying that if these guys look 360, um, this is around. So they can see these units, but they can't see here. So that, that means that there probably are units there, but they can't see them. So you know, if I click on this, for example, um, this unit, it'll show more. So that's a pretty cool hot hotkey. I found it out by accident. Um, I should really meet, read the manual. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, I'm going to move these troops all forward just because I want to take advantage of this hill. So I want them to be uh, the enemy to have to deal with me on top of the hill. All right, so that looks pretty good. Pretty good. I might actually bump these up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Great. Well, in in California today, in Northern California where I'm at, it's a beautiful sunny day. Some kind of dappled sunlight coming in. Uh, it is a little somber because the air is a little hazy from the fires in Southern California. Just slowly been blowing out to sea and making its way up along the coast. Um, so thoughts go out to people down there as they deal with that. It's, it's pretty sad, especially since we just had all these fires up here. And it doesn't really rain much in, in December this year. Or it hasn't rained much, rather. All right, so let us get these. I have a feeling. Disrupted. Cool. Yeah, I think I can route them next time. So I've been playing around with the game a lot more, as I um, hinted. And one thing I've noticed is kind of the benefits of a charge against a unit that's fragmented, um, particularly with some of these light troops. Um, I was having a lot of luck when I was playing through some of the Immortal Fire campaigns in kind of doing what I could to really hurt the um, the light troops and the skirmishers of an enemy force. And then what I would do is kind of throw a bunch of stuff at them, like pretty much hit them with all you got. And then I would uh, charge them with the light troops and it would actually do a lot of... Um, damage if they did engage, and if they didn't engage, um, I was often still able to route them. So that was a pretty cool uh, discovery on my part. So I do kind of like this, this area here. Um, one thing I also realized I'd been doing wrong in previous uh, campaigns, Falksman up front. Hmm, that's not ideal, but that's fine. Um, was I actually realized that I had been correctly standing in front of uh, terrain that causes fragmentation, but what I hadn't realized is that when I charge into the units that are standing on it, so let's say there's an enemy unit on um, this rough ground or something, and they're uh, disordered. If I charge them, then I become disordered too because I'm moving onto that tile. But if they charge me, I am steady, they're still disordered. Um, and so it's, especially at the higher difficulty, whatever difficulty I'm at now, which is not one, thankfully, anymore, um, it, it can make or break a, a battle pretty, pretty quickly, or not. Um, and so that's one of those, those little things in the game that uh, had I read the manual more thoroughly and not just looked through at the very pretty screenshots, uh, I think I probably would have picked up on. But even so, um, I've got about 70 hours in the game now, and I'm still kind of picking up things and slowly ramping up the difficulty in my off-video campaigns, um, just to kind of give me a better sense of, okay, do I want to play this campaign differently? What do I want to do for my next campaign? Um, because I do think it would be nice to have a uh, order of battle I'm sorry, a, um, a Field of Glory campaign. And I was also thinking of an Order of Battle campaign uh, because those are pretty fun and that's another great game from uh, Slytherin Games. All right. So this is kind of where 
I often find myself at a loss. Um, obviously, these are light javelin horses. They are not, you know, you, you don't write home about their ability to charge the side of a legion. Um, but, I mean, a 34% chance of victory isn't anything to sniff at. Um, but that being said, take a look at that chance. 33%, 64%, and I have a good chance of actually winning. Um, so I'm going to stick with my plan of using these guys as a massive flanking force and just trying to route all these crappy light troops in the back. Part of my language. Um, and just using that tactic, basically, as a way to... Um, overcome the advantage of the legions because really if I think about it I only have a couple of turns before all these troops are out they're just not very good um, that reminds me I have Thracians here they're average and protected with a heavy weapon these guys are superior but unprotected and these guys are average but protected so especially if they're going to be going up against any legions I don't want those guys there so let's fall back slowly bring these guys up okay good and so this is part of what I was talking about where if you know don't underestimate the benefit of a good charge um, and they didn't and now um, these javelin men are pretty much doomed so that is a bummer however these slingers will be dealt with I'm using a lot of my uh, I still have three turns of ammunition. I'm using a lot of these on the archers. Um, and the reason for that is because, at least in my experience, those guys are notorious for routing pretty much to the edge of the screen. Disperse. Perfect. Um, they route to the edge of the screen, and then they rally. And so then all of a sudden, if you're kind of at a turning point in the battle, let's say I'm about to win or about to get an advantage, um, it can be a big problem because then all of a sudden if you've got some troops in combat and they're fragmented but barely holding on, you know, that can make or break a battle if you can eke out a victory or not. Um, so because I just threw a bunch of skirmish uh, troops at those guys, dispersed them, that means they're never going to come back. Uh, likewise, they did that strategy with my javelin men here. sipping some Earl Grey tea this morning. It's delicious. I'm pretty nervous about this flank, to be honest. There's a lot of troops massing there, and I know they're going to try to pin down my side and, you know, take it, basically. I gotta get these archers out of there. That's ridiculous. Alright, first things first, move here. And then, I don't know, just kill some of them. 13? I'll take it. So I'm gonna have to move these guys up here. But see, now they're moderately disordered. Why is that? Oh, marsh. Oh, I totally didn't even see the marsh. That is great news. Um, so the marsh will definitely make units um, have some struggles. And so if I'm on the edge of the marsh, which I hadn't even seen, all of a sudden my strategic position is way better. So nice job, us, by accident. All right, let's run back here and just, you know, maybe I'll kill Trebasius. Probably won't, but you never know. Alright, next up. Just keep on killing these guys. Alright. Next up. So they can charge over two spaces. But they have to be facing me. So all of a sudden... Okay, I'll move here. And then can I... So see, I could, I still have a pretty good win percentage chance, but I'm afraid of getting kind of trapped there, um, because I'm in a pretty good strategic position here, especially if I take these irregular foot and uh, other units back here and kind of swing them up the hill to flank. So actually, I'm going to move these guys 
Um, I'm going to hold on to these because I don't trust these units to not fall back. All right. So with that in mind, we're going to go like this. Turn here. Um, tempting. Ah, oh, what the hell. Great. So that actually wasn't what I meant to do at all. Um, but I did, nevertheless. And um, see, these units are in danger of getting charged. So, let's go back twice, and then you are, um, hopefully in a position where you can evade. Hmm. I don't want to move up because then they'll be able to charge me. But see right here, I th you know, they might not be able to reach them. Actually, that's a lie. I know they can. I'm just hoping. Alright, end turn. Let's just see what happens. Please evade, great. And they wasted a throw, that's great. All right. See, they're avoiding the marsh, which means a lot is gonna get pinned down on poor uh, Neo Patel, oh Jesus, on our general. Um, and note how they're all kind of sticking within the valley here and avoiding this. So I'm trying to funnel them, and then I'll be able to swing around them. Ideally. Yeah, I'm funneling them in a couple different spots. And so that is really what I want to do. Okay, so those units are retreating. That's good. I'll probably be able to kill them next turn. My archers have fled to the marsh, which is good, because they are... Um, they are light troops, so the marsh won't really impact them. All right, what do I want to do here? So we have some irregular foot, which is, as you would expect, irregular. Okay, now they're able to charge. So the question is, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? You know, let's go back to the sub flank later. What I want to do is turn you around and see, look, he's in a marsh, they don't even know. All right. I like my odds. Let's do that. Great. And then let's weaken some of these Slack Legionnaires. Great. So if I don't get pushed back, that'll be excellent. Okay, great. Um, because these are Slack Re Roman Legionnaires, and that's how that's how you do. All right. Likewise, let's just try to limit. Really, it's a game of margins, you know? And if I'm stuck in battle for a long time, even 15 or 20 units dead will make a difference. It's an entire combat. Um, so helpful. All right. There's the enemy general again, sitting back in his little horsey. So if I attack with the javelin horse, it's going to evade and I'm going to chase it off. Which is still tempting, but um, I just don't know. Uh, why, why not? Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, good. So that actually went much better than I expected. Um, <laughs> Because not only did I route these guys, I also was able to flank attack. Um, which means that I can swing you guys here. These heavy, heavy troops. Swing you guys here so you can't get flank attacked. And then what I'm going to do is get these guys out of the way. So I want to get these guys out of the way, but they're kind of stuck, huh? Um, also get you out of the way. And then use that to charge. Alright, looking good. Now we can move them. So that's a 70% chance to draw. What about here? It's only 2%. I like our odds better there. So I'm going to do that. 
but I am on disordered terrain, so not the best strategy, perhaps. Um, and then last but not least, I like my odds here. Thracians, light troops. Yes, yes, yes. Push back, push back. No? Okay. So they're going to try to do something, and I'm going to move these units up. Just these. Because I think that will make a nice difference. It's going to start to make them a little worried. You know, if, if they attack here, that's fine. Uh, but then these legionnaires will be able to sweep in, or these legionnaires... Actually, I'm going to move them up here. Um, because if they want to attack my cavalry here, then I can sweep up and flank attack them. And then that uh, sets them up in a situation that they're probably not going to like. All right, and then last but not least, uh, I am going to engage in the hope that I fall back. Oh, that actually went a lot better than I expected. So never mind, no regrets. Let's do this. And then, do I want to push forward? I do, actually. I do. All right. Let's sit back. Let's see what happens. I don't want to get too involved. I was hoping they would throw. Although, they might have already thrown. Okay, good. That first combat and impact can be so vital. But I haven't gotten pushed back at all yet, which is really good. So, oh wow, that went way better than expected. Yeah, okay. Fall back, thank you. Yeah, I'm trying not to engage the sub-general. I'm just trying to screw with some of the, his, his troops there. And really what I'm trying to do is draw them off. Um, because of the hillside and the disadvantages that provides, um, clearly the Romans are kind of moving into this pass, moving into this pass, and then moving into this area. Um, and so if I can just double up on a lot of combats before they're able to do anything, that's that's kind of the, the secret to success. Okay, great. Excellent news. Slack Legionnaires plus Hillside. Not good. I've got to tell you, it's a nice rally horn. Alright, I like how this is starting. I'm feeling optimistic. So, um, a couple things. Number one, let's get these Javelin Horses out. Um, of the area just to cause maximum maximum havoc in the future. Uh, let's also move these beautiful cataphracts. All right. So because we can choose our combats, I'm going to choose to start here. Then I will attack here. Yeah, see, I was hoping they'd get fragmented. Um, and so this is where I'm tempted to charge, but not, I'm not going to win. So I'm going to actually hold. So, see, because I moved my troops up here, I kind of countered their attack on my cavalry. Um, and now I get to decide what I want to do. Or not. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back to that. That requires a little more thought. Um, just keep on shooting these guys. Oh, they had to do a check, so... I'll just... Kill some legionnaires. Alright, let's start here. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that went well. That went very well. So I'm not gonna butt bust anybody into this marsh, unless I have to. I'm gonna hold these in reserve. Um... Likewise, I'm just going to turn them normally. Now you guys... See, this is the thing. They're steady because they are medium. But um, I don't want to charge on account of this nonsense. In fact, do I want to hold back? No. I want to wait till they commit here. 
and then I'll move in, and then I'll move up. Um, however, here, you can bet your butt I'm going to commit. Because they are better than my units, and yeah, basically I just need to grind these guys down. Um, likewise, I'm just going to move them up. I'm not going to charge. Maybe I should charge. It's myth or daddy's though. If he dies, I'll feel very stupid. Okay, not bad. Um, so this irregular foot's doing some stuff. Remember, they're garbage, so I'm trying to move them to act as a flanking troop. Um, ooh, I, I just don't know. I mean, those are decent odds as far as Romans go. You know, actually, I will do that because if they hold, okay, and they do, then I can swing these guys up and start being able to do some, some damage there. Then I'll also move them up. And do I want to do anything here? Ooh, I don't like those odds at all. So I will not. Um, I'll not do anything. thought about it, and I will not do anything. Okay, um, let's move these guys around so I can start trying to route these light javelmen in the marsh. Let's move you up. Archers, get in formation. And... I don't know. I feel good. Still on a knife's edge, but... But there's a chance. Not the ideal start. Okay, that's better. Myth or daddies, you son of a gun. Okay. I gotta tell you, I'm not impressed with Myth or daddies. Um, I remember last time I talked about being able to uh, just show up with a bunch of phalanx. However, the army has moved past phalanx, as you could probably notice from the army list. Um, and probably for good reason, because in this kind of disordered terrain, I would die. Oh. Some slingers popped out of nowhere. That's stupid. Alright, well, those guys are gone. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Well, you know what I'm doing? That's what I wanted, Rad. I'm about to march these guys sideways straight into the edge of them. Alright, and now he realizes that he actually needs to fight. Take that, Romans. What have you ever done for us? Alright, kill them. Killing commencing. And I'm just gonna try to throw a couple. And uh, that really didn't do much for anybody. Get these guys out of the way. Same as you. Alright, so. If I attack here, I will probably lose. If I attack there, it's much better. Because of their Thracians. I don't know if anybody's familiar with the uh, musician Andrew Bird. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? After I do some damage to these guys, I'm going to move them through the marsh and then swoop from the side. Um, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Andrew Bird, but he had a song um, called Scythian Empires, God, probably like 10 years ago. Um, and uh, one of the lines is thwarted by the Thracians, and I just thought that was an excellent line. And ever since then, every time I see a Thracian... Um, in these games, which is actually fairly often, obviously. Um, I just think of that line. Good song. Better line, I guess. Alright, so that's that. Um, we're gonna move these units here. God, I just, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> but I am gonna turn them. Alright. 
Impact is pretty good. Well, let's, let's hold this guy back. Let's see what happens first with some of my other combats. Perfect. Well, I would have preferred not being held firm there, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Um, let's... Kill a few of these guys. These guys are not long for this world. I'm gonna utilize them to kill them, and then this guy I will either... I don't know, I'll figure out what I have to do with him. Alright, now, um, obvious call is to attack them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If I can get them to... no. Well. C'est la vie. So that side is okay. Could be better, but it's okay. Alright. Mithridates is not an ideal um, representative of anything. The center is about to break to hell, so I'm gonna have to move up and attack them. Because I cannot afford to have these guys get overwhelmed. Alright, positive, positive change. But I'm worried about these. Like, right here. Yeah. Okay, positive result. Positive result. <laughs> oh boy. So let's just keep on trying to kill these Thracians. Oh yes. That's how it's done. So I'm going to use that opportunity to move into the marsh. And then I'm also going to use that opportunity to move these troops up here. Do, do, do. And um, let's see, where will I lose less first? Ugh. Well, these are just pick your poison, so they're going to die. Yeah. Okay, well at least everybody held firm. So I'm glad that that troop got pushed back because... Well, I don't really have a choice. Alright, last test. Do I want to do anything with this unit? I mean, it's not a bad position to be in. It's just not great either. But if I can free up... Ugh, I don't know. That's it. Okay. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Okay, great. I don't like that rally horn. I do like that. Okay. Wow, held firm. I mean, personally, I would route. I don't know about you guys. Interesting. Interesting. I wasn't able to turn my 304 eye in time, and there we go. It's funny how when you can't pronounce a word, you kind of pause right before, try to make it sound better. Hmm. If they're dead, he's a son of a gun. He will be the death of me. Ooh. Hello. Please get fragmented. Please don't get fragmented. Oh. <laughs> Alright, back at you, boy. No. Nope. You know, those guys are tough. Mr. Daddy says at least good cohesion bonuses. Say what you will about the Romans. They know when to fall back. Alright. Please die. Really? My legionnaires, too tough. All right, there's a lot of things I dislike about this current situation, so let's resolve what I can. Um, first of all, go. 
These are going to come in handy charging various things in the back and just generally being a nuisance. Um, so first up, die. Thank you. Please, for the love of God, flank charge. Yes. That's not really what I wanted. But at least it's doing something. Alright, now you have no choice but to get in combat. I was hoping they'd get pushed back. Oh well. Um, I am going to swing these guys up. And so everybody is in combat. I'm going to move them here. I mean, that's not a bad thing. They're cataphracts. I don't know. I'm going to hold off for one turn. Because if they do attack these guys and they fall back, then all of a sudden I have an easy flank attack. So let's hold there. Um, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Because these guys are about to rout, but at least I'm not making it easy. Alright. So if you are not doing super hot, I mean, they're doing better. Excuse me, they're not far off from auto break. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on that long. Alright, and good. You know, I'm not sure what about that. Uh, that sucked. <laughs> There's really no way around it. That was bad. Um, so I need to... I don't know, whatever. Just evade. No, nope, not evading. God. Well, now I'm at war. Or I'm in battle with a whole bunch of light troops in a marsh, which is not what I wanted, but I also... I don't know why my general would do that. That's so stupid. Because all of a sudden set himself up for flank attacks and other general stupidity. So dumb. Like, these guys can... So stupid. Alright. I made a strategic error, and I regret it. And I am sorry, everybody. So now let's see. I mean, 20%. I like that. It's like, not terrible. Okay, that was terrible. I mean, I do kind of want to attack them. I'm worried they'll get pushed back. But if they do get pushed back, then I get to flank them. So, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I just want my three daddies to win. He needs it. Like, it's been so long since he actually tasted victory. Now at least they held firm. All right. Well, this is my life now. Let's see what happens. So, obviously I'm winning right now, but I'm really close to having a lot of troops route. See, look, flank attack. Stupid. Oh, great, another flank. See, that's, that's what pissed me off. Um, I don't know if that was just a strategic blunder on my part. Probably. Oh my god. Hmm. That was so stupid. I'm so mad. And, and yeah. Alright, like, thank you. So I think I made a strategic error in that marsh attack. But marsh attack does sound pretty funny. It's like Mars attack or something. I don't know. 
I'm a little bummed, as you can tell from that long period of silence. I... I don't know. I thought that I had that flank sorted out, and then immediately I've lost my general pinning down that entire side. I've lost a lot of otherwise valuable troops. And worst of all, I should have known better. So, I don't know. Just maybe I'll kill him. No, of course not. Alright, you face forward because I don't know what else you're going to do. I have no choice but to kill these guys. And I will. No, at least I got that. I should have done that first, I guess, but lesson learned. Alright, you seem to be a good place to start. Held firm, good god. Alright. Um, still seems like a good spot to start. Good enough, though. Um, not good enough. Yeah, well, at least he's fragmented. All right, what now? Um, please die. See, that's what I want to see. I want to see some kind of smash and grab, do whatever, you know, make it count type of attacks. Um, same. So this is kind of how I'm going to have to fight the rest of this battle, because not good. Not good at all. And I can't attack these guys from the flank because they're engaged. Otherwise engaged. <laughs> I need a disruption. See, like, why won't you die? Good God, man. Well, chances of drawing are high, at least. Yeah, good. I really just need them to have a general die. Like, that's that's really what has to happen. I'm going to have to move these irregular foot out, otherwise I am officially SOL. I'm going to need them to hold up this. I can't believe that happened. And when, by that I mean that stupid general thing that happened on the far flank. You know, what can I say? Their cohesion is good. this. I need the cohesion boost here, and I need them to not be able to turn around and route the rest of it. So I'm doing that, and um, you guys, I'm actually going to keep facing them there. They can't charge in, in the face of me, so it's like chess. Maybe a thing rhymes. Oh, how, how nice. Well, at least they're taking the nice road to routing. Props to that unit that watches General die in one frickin' turn. So I need to get these guys out of a marsh ASAP. 
Mr. Daddy's is losing, as is typical. Oh no, not him too. Please just route. My god. Held firm. Oh my god. You son of a gun. You should be dead. Well, he's dead now. Dispersed. I would like a unit to return to me from the grave, please. Hmm. Well, he's gonna flank attack, and then that's the end of that troop, so... Die, 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 die. I think I'm getting increasingly bitter at how this is going. <laughs> First off, I wanted to see him die. Okay, so he broke, but it's not dead. Well, hopefully that'll kill him. Kill him right dead. Alright, next up, um... Let's do a flank charge. Okay. Could have been better. That's fine. Um, what about you guys? Yes, let's do it. Yep, good. And then, let's do you. Nope, every little bit helps. That's what I tell myself. Okay, next up. Please die. Okay, there we go. Hold firm. Well... At least he was held firm to you. Alright, next up. Just go kill them. He doesn't have to fight that guy. Alright, what are you doing now? Well, I guess he's dying. See, I'm, t I'm on top of a hill. There we go. Finally got some hill bonuses. Jeez. Alright, what are you gonna do? You gonna win? Son of a gun. crazy because it's not like I'm doing, I don't know, terribly. So I'm doing that, and if you ask yourself, why are you doing that? And it's because I just want to be able to bring down that combat a little more. I need to get these units back up in there. There's too much, too much um, chasing going on here. Please don't chase. Okay, two of them chased. At least one didn't. Flank attack. You son of a bitch. Uh, you know... I'm gonna lose this battle. I can tell. My troops are too light. I should've just gotten rid of my light troops and focused on some extra units. Because, I mean, the way it's, the way it's laying up, there's no way I'll be able to fight back. I mean, they're all holding to such an extent that there's, like, really nothing I can do. I don't know if it's their generals or what. 
Because every time I win a combat, I hold firm. For the most part. I mean, I need to have something crazy happen, basically, in order for me to be able to win this one. And I just don't see that happening. Yeah. So I'm just gonna chase these guys forever. Okay, good. F off. I gotta get out of this stupid marsh. Let's just kill you. You might say, why do that, Fuzz? That's stupid. And the answer is, I know not what I do. Die, you stupid, stupid general. One percent? I like those odds. Oh, whatever. Alright, so he's gonna route. We could buy. Bye, Felicia. Alright. Let's see, who is not chasing anybody? He's not chasing anybody. Time to sweep back. Alright. Time to do more things. Yes, thank you. I'm trying to thwart the Thracians. It's proving to be difficult. I don't get how they have an auto broken yet. Maybe next turn they'll auto break. Or maybe now. Oh, wait, no, wrong. Well, at least I got disrupted. But I realized that's the wrong unit, so, you know. And then, um, I guess you're gonna route. Well, soon enough. And there you go. No, not really. Hmm. Impressive. See, that's crazy. They are... They're at half strength. And they have not even gotten disrupted. But these guys are fragmented, because why not, you know? Ugh. I'm bitter. I'm bitter, man. Rest in peace, buddy. Oh, of course they're disrupted. Why wouldn't they be? Alright, so we're gonna... We're not gonna do this. That's unfortunate. Like, part of me wants to play this, or just upload this thing, and be like, well, <laughs> here's a... I know I said I wouldn't upload it if I lost again, but, um, here's it. That's funny, because it's been such a long time since my last update, I'm sure everybody's like, oh my god, this guy sucks at this game. And the answer to that is a little bit, yeah. I mean, I have to kill another 30, or, you know, 25% of the army. Well, that's a positive step, but not much of one. At least he held firm. I can't believe that guy broke before that. <laughs> I'm so angry. Part of me wonders, am I going to hit a point where everybody just routes on the Roman side? Like, well, am I finally going to kill a bunch of these guys? Okay, well, that's positive. Like, look at that. That unit started with almost 700. They have... This unit has literally lost 400 men, and they haven't even been disrupted. Ugh, that makes me so happy. I hate you. I hate him so much. Alright. Come 
Come on, Mr. Daddies, just kill him. Because this unit's gonna route in right now, or. Yeah, right now. Please don't get disrupted. Okay, at least they held firm. I guess I'm just gonna keep on shooting him. Maybe I'll kill him. That'd be funny. Oh, he's too routed to do anything still. He's just kind of hanging out in fear, so... What's new? I understand that feeling. Um, let's see. You chasing anybody? No? Good. What about you? No? Good. Let's move up. Let's do this. Yes. Thank you. Alright, so with that in mind, let's attack him. No, nope, not doing it yet. That's fine. If I can kill them, at least maybe they'll wrap. Please, everybody, just die. Yes. Yes. So he held firm. Mm, not worth attacking yet. Alright, what about you guys? Should I do anything? Alright, we'll lose that. So no. Eh, might as well. So that was actually a positive change. Um, so... You know, dare to dream and all that. Disperse, disperse. That couldn't have gone better. God, I just... I want to kill that... General. If it's the last thing I do. Ooh. That went well. That also went well. Well, that didn't, but... Um, at least they're getting chased way out there. I don't really care if they get all fragmented. It's just when they're all bunched together. That's when the problem is. Ah, oh, disrupted. That's not what I wanted at all. So what I need to do is I need to focus on the weakest units. Because my only hope of winning this is by killing a couple more people. And maybe having these guys rally back here. I need a couple of these way distant guys to rally. Oh, maybe them. Alright, so. First things first. I'm gonna attack them, just because, number one, I don't want them to do anything. Number two, chasing gives my cavalry a lot more movement. Alright, second of all, um, let's do that. Great. Even better. Um, now third of all, flank charge, they're not in combat, but what if they were? Difficult choices. Alright, you get out of here. Yeah, that's see, that's better. Much better. Um, I don't know, kill some of them. I don't like that position. It's not a good one. Um, let's just attack here. Same. Alright, well, that sucks. Alright, just keep on killing them. Kill those guys if it's the last thing I do. See, now I got all hopeful, but I should have known by now to not trust to hope. Uh, the flank charge won't do anything, but hopefully he'll attack somebody. Um, that's actually a pretty good spot to go. Is 
So if I attack here, he'll be flanked on two sides. If I attack here, I'll be flanked on two sides. Basically, I am stuck. Alright, and you guys... Um, you know, I'm not really looking to move any closer. Oh, those guys got dispersed. That was good. Just fall back. Ugh, he broke. I broke him. I don't even know who's back there. Can't see it. Good. Alright, anyway. Where are we fighting? Uh-oh, we're fighting there. If the Foxman... I should have just stayed in the woods. That would have been better. Oh no. Come on, someone rally. Love of God. I'm about to lose my only advantage. Not good. Well. Could it be? It's happened. Yes. It happened. <laughs> Alright, so I don't have the strength to kill him at all. That is silly. Um, but I can kill some of him. I've killed so few um, units in this veteran legion, as you might expect when you're throwing a bunch of light crap at them, but I am enjoying the, um, no, see, that's what I wanted, that's what you do, you gotta kill them like that, um, I am enjoying the change of pace, alright, I guess I'll just shoot them, what, what are you doing, you can't, uh, I'm doing it, because I want to kill them. Oh, I can't, because I already did some stuff. Shoot. Not the best maneuver, as it were. So it's like a game of chess that I'm losing. Let's see, anybody else? Anybody else want to do something? No? Alright, that's that then. Oh, good. It worries me that they say routing, and I, I don't know. See, that's what I was worried about. Some crud like that. And there's that flank attack, yep. Uh, well, at least he's held firm. Mithridates is not long for this. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Not good. Mithridates is off the field for good. That cohesion bonus would have been helpful. Well, you can't say he didn't try. I do not want to be disrupted. Yes. yes. Okay. And who's next? Who wants to die next? Flank charge won't drop. Well, maybe it will if I can stay. No. Nope. Oh, that was a terrible maneuver. Can I undo that? No. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there we go. Come on. Seriously? Alright, so I'm gonna have to kill these guys because that can make or break this. Um, you know what? I don't care. You can do whatever you want. I'm getting out of dodge. This is stupid. Likewise. No, nope, undo. You fall back. Thank you. Alright. You should die. 
Well, you held firm, but you should die. You're gonna die right here. Yep. Alright, well. It was nice knowing everybody. Rest in peace, Roman buddies. I am going to lose after this turn is over, unfortunately. Um, and you might say, but why fuzz? And the answer is because these two guys are going to route. If one of them breaks, the other breaks. And they're both going to lose as soon as they get charged at. The only hope I have is if enough of their units um, get dispersed at the same time. Um, which I would not expect. And there goes them. Okay. How oh, interesting. Well, I'll still lose. I'll just lose less than I expected. Just give me one more shot at him. You know? That's what I needed. I needed one of these guys to freaking rally. No rally. Not route. Ah, Jesus. Well, that was stupid. Um, you know, it sucks because I actually like wasn't that far off from a victory. I think the turning point was the when that general lost. When I killed that general right by the marshes, uh, because he chased the routing unit. Because he did that, he was open to a flank attack, he got attacked three times, one turn, and that was it. And then all of a sudden that flank came unglued. If that flank hadn't come unglued, uh, I think these guys would have held longer. Um, the cohesion bonus from the general would have helped, and I still would have lost that side, but I would have done better, and then the cavalry would have been able to do some nonsense. So, there's that. God. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And uh, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll be back, and I'll be better.